What's up everybody and welcome back to a new episode. Well, well, welcome. Today we have a different video for you. If you remember my last videos fishing in Croatia, I was always trying to show you the whole trip, everything from beginning till end. This is why the vids are a little longer. Today I start directly at the at the fishing spot we are surf casting. Well, bottom fishing from the shore. It's a little different. Dennis is here. Bono is also somewhere, I don't know where. We still have our spinning rods, jigging rods with us, but today it's so windy that we said, okay, we cannot go to the top, top spots. We will fish from the shore and we will try to catch a nice fish, maybe a gilted bream or something else. And then we want to cook it. We don't have any lunch for us, nothing, no snacks. We have to cook it. Some catch and cook from the shore. Yeah, let's see what we can achieve. I'm fishing as always two rods, actually a Carolina rig, basically, with leaders of 50, 60 centimeters. On one rod I have a calamari head, on the other I have a, a whole sardina. There's nothing to explain really too much if you still want to know what I did, how my setup looks, just write me in the comments, I will respond in a few days. So yeah. So, you saw my rods, my rod holder was, yeah thrown around by the wind and now I pulled out the one with the sardina nothing I guess a merry eel Mada fuego what the fuck the very same happened here the very same no hook ah oh, come on come on what the heck I mean, I understand, okay, a eel can bite through your hook, but that they don't really pull, okay, it was lifted a little bit, but not like fully. Come on. It's not fun. If I catch one, okay, I catch one. I have I never catch, I've never caught a Mary eel from the shore. I got some while in Chico fishing, or Kabura, I don't even know, right, but doesn't matter. But yeah. And I don't have one on my video, so if we catch one, it will be one more species. Okay, so I talked about it, but now nevertheless, that you see it. Carolina rig with this anti-tangle anti boom, a small pearl, a swivel, and then I have, a, I have a leader. This one is shorter, it's now maximum 50 centimeters. Not that big of a hook. Here... I'll put on some squid, just go a few times through the squid, and then I will use some bait elastic and that's it. Looks nice, right? Just for clarification, the other one looks pretty much the same. Just another anti-tangle boom, but more or less the same principle. So this one is... I'll, I'll cast out just right in front of the feet a few meters. There we go. That's it. Right in front of us. Yep, we're on the bottom. Ah? Sash and sash. Aha. Something is touching. 
something was lifting it half a meter. I got it. I got a fish. It's not a merrill. It's actually a nice fish. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> lunch. Ladies and gentlemen. We got us lunch. Good fish. Good, very good. Muy bien. Okay. Everything clear. Nothing is biting because... Yeah, because of that. Wow! I'm not sure if he has really something. Yeah, he has something. He has something good. Huh. I hope you guys can see it. I need to pull out as fast as I can. Merry eel. A small merry eel. Well, Dennis, Rogi, Roginator. A few moments later. I have it. I think it's a Merino. And it bit off. <laughs> Again. Ah, no. I actually lost it. Okay. So, now it's time for the catch and cook. We are hungry. We got a few fish. This one, the Muriel from Dennis. I got a small Comber, a grouper, and the small um, scorpion fish. And Dennis is now fighting something. Wait. I think he has a fish. Mm, what? What? What's that, Dennis? A sponge? SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Okay. Tight lines, Petri, my digger. Well, yeah. Good, good, good. So first of all, before we do the fish, we start with the side dish, which will, which we will put in our, you see, in our fajitas, in our tortillas. Um, for that, we will cut tomato in small in small pieces 
and this side dish is called pico de gallo, very popular in Latin America. For that purpose, as you see, we cut the tomatoes, tomato, tomato, in small pieces. We'll then add lime to it and some salt, red onion, and that's it. There we go. Tomatoes already ready, so. One cup, I'll do two cups because I don't have a bigger bowl or whatever with me. So we have two cups with the tomato as I said. Now I'm gonna slice a little bit of onion, not too much, a quarter. The rest we will take home of course. Just be sure that you don't have too big pieces. I mean, you can do whatever you want, but I like it that way. So one, the second one, keep a little bit for later, I add some salt, so that's it. Perfect. The avocado I'll cut later, I don't want to cut it immediately. My pan I will wash a little bit because of the fish. And actually, well, we already go to fillet the fish. Second fillet, but this will not be enough, we need the other one. It's not much, but it's honest work. 
This one I will leave to put it on the hook and see what we can catch on that. It's a little dark. It's actually way darker than it should be, but it's always something which needs to freak off my videos. Always something. Either the sound doesn't work or the fish is not long enough in the in the in the in the picture or whatever. I hope you could see how I was semi amateurishly cleaning the fish. Now we have there the pan. We have the fish, we will season them a little bit, we'll fry them, put them in the tortilla, put some pico de gallo, I have some corn, I don't know if I want it now, and the avocado, and then we'll enjoy a nice meal. So, stuff is ready, I'll season the fish, and then I will fry it here. I'll give it a good rub. And again from the other side, a little bit more. Give it a good rub. Oh yeah. Good. Let's put some oil in the pan and yeah start cooking I guess that's enough I hope the oil is now hot enough Starts reacting, yes, but could be a little hotter. Looks good. Soon. So the fish is ready. Now I switched off the gas. Now I'll prepare the fajita and then we'll have some nice fish tacos. First of all, some avocado. Then... Hmm? Check it. So... We have the avocado, we have some fish. Now we put in the last ingredient, which is the pico de gallo. We have no sauce, no salsa. This is the pico de gallo. We don't need more than that. Look at that. Some nice, fresh fish 
tacos, tortillas, fajitas, however you like to call it, right? On the beach, everything is there, everything is fresh. Now we close. <laughs> very nice that's a nice snack coming directly out of the sea just got the fish two hours ago now it's already in my tortilla very good guys you can do that just have to carry a little bit more stuff to the beach and now I'll get a beer because now I deserve it Don't drink and drive, but you can drink and fish. That's not an issue. Fajita. Whew. So it's around seven, I think. I don't know, guess seven or shortly after. Fishing is done, dark. We stayed maybe a little longer than we should have, but the fishing was good and the lunch, the catch and cook was also very good. I, I liked it a lot. I like this a little, you know, spicier. Then he said for him it was too much. It's something new I've never done. I have never done that before, but I hope you like this video. Let's see, maybe during the next videos we will repeat something like that. And now we have to go home, make dinner and see you in one of my next videos. <laughs>